What is up guys, Achoo here, bringing you another review on Fairy Tale. This episode gives us a nice, good reunion with everyone in Fairy Tale. And I mean everyone. Except for one person, but that person isn't at the moment here, and you guys probably don't know who I'm talking about. But this episode I really enjoyed because it gives us a, not only a, a good reunion between all the Fairy Tale people, but it also gives us another look at a powerful wizard that we're gonna have to face uh, throughout the remaining of this arc like it's it's gonna be intense and uh, there's gonna be some losses but we start off the episode with um, mast actually rescuing we'll pick it up right after the last one uh, rescuing uh, the gramps that's what i'm gonna call them the gramps <laughs> and uh, everyone's happy to see him and he has a moment where he realizes that he really did screw up like he cost him their family uh, the guild and all for something that he thought would be something that could be negotiated and once finding out the truth uh, that idea was definitely tossed out however everyone didn't really care about that they even say that they've gone stronger in over a year then now that they've gone back together that they are better for it. Uh, that it was it was pretty much growth for everyone, and Makarov really understands that, and so they're ready to go home. And then we have Agio, the man, the sand man. Uh, he probably give Gara a run for his money, if you're a Naruto fan. I'm just messing, but Agio is one of the interesting characters in this. I want to say that he. Uh, of the spring and 12 he's an interesting character uh he definitely wasn't holding back he was getting after them he controls the sands and everyone was just kind of uh i guess at a bad bad spot when they had him in like that quicksand where he was sucking him in and he was talking about how countless people he has killed the villages the peoples the wizards numerous amounts of people that he has pretty much killed in the sand so this guy not only does he look kind of psycho but he's kind of a badass and i really do like that but of course with natsu nothing can never really be stopped and natsu and everyone else ends up getting out of the fire thanks to him but then he kind of brings in this whole like tsunami of sand and Makara is gonna do like a last stand kind of thing, grabs everyone, goes big, and is about to be pretty much swallowed in by all of this. And when they are about to be, we have an unexpected help arrive on a ship. Of course, I was looking forward to seeing it. Good old Loxus is back, the Thunder Legion, everyone that was with Gajil as well has been on board and ready to help them out so it was a really good reunion there of course mess teleports them out and when they arrive on this boat it was fun to see gajil not having any seasickness and i like seeing ichia he did not say a word though just his typical pose and just all of them having a moment just enjoying each other's company and again we have makarov in tears because He's reunited with his family, you know, he's actually seeing his grandson again. So it's like, you know, just happiness all around. And I, I loved how Loxus was going to, like, deal with Agil to the point to where he could have actually killed him. He, and what he says was funny. He's like, we're not running away. We just don't want to be late for supper. And I was like, only he would say a line like that and make it sound actual badass. And so he just throws down a thunderbolt down there and it again it would have possibly killed agio but one of the other springen in, uh, were i guess creating a blockade uh and stopped it and he and this man the, an older man august seems to have an interest in keeping his comrades alive so wondering if they're gonna get expand on him uh, but going back to everyone else, we have them going back to the, the guild. Everyone's enjoying themselves and just full on guild mode, just happiness. And it felt like it was a normal day, like a normal, just happy reunion where everyone was just enjoying themselves. And, you know, we had them typical behavior. We had uh, Kana drinking, we had uh, Gajil 
just talking. We had Loxus and the others just kind of enjoying themselves, even talking about how Loxus was actually a bit of the bit hospital, um, showing hospitality, excuse me, while he was in Blue Pegasus. I would have loved for them to have shown some of that because that would have been great. Uh, just kind of giving everyone a good feel about things. But then we have Makarov going serious and actually saying, you know, from here on out, things are going to be going to go serious. We have to actually uh, stay, you know, have a stand and actually fight. And Natsu intervenes and saying, we're not trying to win this. We're just trying to live. So for them disrespecting us and coming to us, we're going to have to fight. And we kind of see a little flashback of the last fight that they have going against Tartaros and that was a heck of a fight I remember reading that in the manga and actually seeing it and now this is just going to be even more epic because uh, it's going to it's going to be a lot and I really enjoyed that and then when everything is like everyone's pumped up out of nowhere we have the first master showing up and saying let me be the one to explain why Seraph is doing this I was just kind of surprised to see her just walking up there and saying the reason why Zeref wants it is for this. And then next episode, we're going to be having the tragic story uh, between these two finally fully explained. Uh, and it's just going to be one of those uh, tear jerkers for some of you guys. Uh, for me, it's just kind of like, eh, whatever. But I'll enjoy it. I'm looking forward to it, her revealing it to everyone. But let me know what you guys think of the overall for this episode. And as always, guys, stay safe, and I will catch you. Later. I'm a buff baby, but I dance like a man. She a nice lady and she shaking the yams. Spent the whole summer trapping out the sedan. Marching with the bands, cause I think that I can.